Hello, hello, everybody. Adam here with another uh, lesson for Chungshin University. This is Unit 3A. So make sure you turn on the subtitles. They're in uh, English, Korean, Chinese, Mongolian, Japanese, Vietnamese. I think we got them all. Um, if if you do want another subtitles, please let me know. If you have any questions about the homework or what you should be doing, please ask me or check the previous videos where I explain. But for now. Let's just get into the lesson. Let me make it look nicer. I'm going to disappear. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first, let's start up with the warm up video. We don't do these in class, but they do look beautiful. All right, so let's watch it. So, watch the first 10 seconds of the video and complete the question. What do you with you? Ready? Let's do it. Did you catch it? What do you, here it is, always carry with you? And carry is in your hands, right? Like you have it in your hands or in your pocket. Easy answer, I always carry my smartphone with me. Okay, so we got the first question. Now, here's the next one. So answer the question, in A, use your dictionary. So we did that one, use the subtitles. So read the list, look up any words you don't know. Again, use the subtitles. A book, a camera, a phone, a soccer ball, a wallet, keys. I will say one thing. You notice a, 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 a. That's because there's one of something. Keys, usually there's two or three. So a is another way of saying one. Okay, so now we're going to watch the first minute of the video. Check the things you see from this list here. Okay, here we go. I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of important stuff. Um, I will start with lactate. Um, cell phone with a Wally cover. Car keys. Our rental Jeep keys. An apple. <laughs> I have a little tape measure. A tape measure? Yeah. Safety kit. Snacks. Lipstick. The lottery. My wallet. A ring pop bag for my ring pop. 2005 Farmer's Guide to LA. Oh, <laughs> nope. Can't take that out. <laughs> I've got my camera, a prime lens, an American cell phone, face wash, sunscreen, hand cream, hay fever tablet, eye drop, Kit Kat, baggage tag, and my passport. That's pretty much everything. What do I have here that means a lot to me? My phone, my office. Okay, so that's the first minute. Some of them spoke pretty quickly, and I'll just quickly show you the answers. The only one they didn't say was a soccer ball. Okay, book, camera, a phone, a wallet, keys. All of those things the people mentioned that they carry with them. Okay, so let me let me play the rest of it just so you can see it. Got to have it. I have to have a lot of things, but all of those things have to go in this bag. And it's been to every country I've ever visited. It's, it's all falling apart and stuff, which I'm really sad about because it's going to die soon. But I continue to use it until the day it breaks, and then I will cry. Of course, my red lipstick, more lipstick. As you can see, I don't wear even one lipstick, but I have lots of them. This ring that I'm wearing, it belonged to my grandmother. I feel like I'm carrying a piece of her with me. She's like my, my star. This is a thank you card. Have a wonderful time. Lots of love, love Rita. And and she wrote at the bottom, thank you for such a lovely, memorable day. It would have to be the SD card. Um, even when I don't have a camera, for some reason, I keep it. Making YouTube videos has gotten me to Chicago. It's going to take me to New York in a couple of days. And just having this with me always reminds me that what I'm doing is meaningful. 
and that I should just keep going no matter what anyone else says. Like I said, the videos are always quite nice. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's keep moving on and get into the lesson. All right. First, it says gifts here, but it's not really gifts. These are just everyday things people usually carry with them. Okay. I'm going to give you a different voice. You must get a little sick of mine. So here it is. One. A backpack. A backpack. Two. A gift card. A gift card. Three. Headphones. Headphones. Four. Movie tickets. Movie tickets. Five, a laptop, a laptop. Six, sunglasses, sunglasses. Seven, a wallet, a wallet. Eight, a watch. A watch. Okay, I'll close that. And I will mention one more time, you've got a, uh, a uh, for one of something, right? We've got headphones, there's an S. Movie tickets, there's an S. Sunglasses, there's an S. So there's no a. Uh. A uh is always just for one, okay? Okay, and now we're matching. And let me make this fit. As always, pause the video if you want to have a think. I'm going to show you the answers now. First one is wallet or a wallet, headphones, a backpack, and a gift card. Okay, so there's the answers there. And let's go down here. So this is like a little speaking activity, something maybe we'll do in class. And now we go over here. Okay, so, you know, looking at a birthday party here. So we're going to listen, or sorry, we're going to listen. Tack is buying a gift for Sue. Listen and circle the correct answer. So you've got, you know, two choices here. Sue's Tack's, Tack's classmate or friend. Tack is buying her a graduation or a birthday gift. Sue likes baseball or soccer. She likes hip hop or pop music. Let's listen and check those answers. I really don't like shopping. I know, Tak, but it's getting late, and we need a gift. Oh, Martina, I just don't know. Well, the gift is for your friend Sue, right? Yes, that's right. And it's a graduation gift. Tell me about Sue. Let's see. She's a good friend of mine. She plays soccer. Hmm. So she likes sports? Uh-huh. And her favorite kind of music is hip-hop. And, um... I know. She likes music, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's check that out. Uh, the first one is Sue's Tack's friend. Tack is buying her a graduation gift. Sue likes soccer. And she likes hip-hop. And again, she is referring back to Sue. Okay. All right. Let's do the next listening. So it says, listen, number the three items, one, two, three, as you hear them, you will not number all of them, right? Because there's three, but there's six things here. Okay. So again, the first one you hear, write number one. Let's do that now. I really don't like shopping. I know, Tak, but it's getting late, and we need a gift. 
Oh, Martina, I just don't know. Well, the gift is for your friend Sue, right? Yes, that's right. And it's a graduation gift. Yes. Any ideas? How about a gift card? That's a popular gift. Mm, yes, I know. Many people give gift cards for graduation, but I don't want to. It's a boring gift. Okay, well, there's a nice backpack right over here. Yeah, it is nice. Whoa, it's expensive. Tell me about Sue. Let's see. She's a good friend of mine. She plays soccer. Hmm. So she likes sports? Uh huh. And her favorite kind of music is hip hop. And, um. I know. She likes music, right? Yeah. Well, headphones. Headphones? Hmm. I like it. Great idea. These headphones aren't expensive at all. Yes, and they're her favorite. She loves this brand. Okay, so let's check those answers. The first one mentioned was a gift card. Then they talked about, oh, that's number three. And number two, they talk about a backpack. And number three was the headphones. A oh, little, uh, little mistake there in the book. It's okay. Now, the last time we're going to listen to it, right? So we did this one, one, two, three. So listen for details and follow the steps. So write items one, two, and three from B in the chart below. Okay, so, you know, and then listen again. What do Tack and Martina say about each gift? Okay, so we know it's kind of gift card, backpack, right? So let's listen what they say about each one. I really don't like shopping. I know, Tak, but it's getting late, and we need a gift. Oh, Martina, I just don't know. Well, the gift is for your friend Sue, right? Yes, that's right. And it's a graduation gift. Yes. Any ideas? How about a gift card? That's a popular gift. Mm, yes, I know. Many people give gift cards for graduation, but I don't want to. It's a boring gift. Okay, well, there's a nice backpack right over here. Yeah, it is nice. Whoa, it's expensive. Tell me about Sue. Let's see. She's a good friend of mine. She plays soccer. Hmm. So she likes sports? Uh-huh. And her favorite kind of music is hip-hop. And, um... I know. She likes music, right? Yeah. Well, headphones. Headphones. Hmm. I like it. Great idea. These headphones aren't expensive at all. Yes. And they're her favorite. She loves this brand. Okay, let's check those answers. So the first one is a gift card is boring, fun, or popular. Well, we'll check those. Uh, a backpack, is it beautiful, expensive, or nice? And then here, headphones. Okay, not expensive, not boring, or favorite. So which one is correct? Okay, so let's check those. That's that one. Um, for, you know, for the, for each one, right? So let's go back sorry push that just one sec okay and like i said so for this one right they mentioned it's kind of one lady thought it was fun and popular but he said it was boring right you know it's beautiful and nice but it's expensive right and then for the headphones right it's her favorite brand they're not boring and they're not expensive. So these are the adjectives that match up with each item. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next page. And here we have a little listening. Okay. So I'm going to play the listening, give you another voice. And, 
you know, we're going to practice it in the class, but for now, let's just listen. Oh, no. What's wrong, Soon? My wallet. Where's my wallet? Is it in your pocket? Um, no. Is it in your backpack? No, it's not. I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, what's this? Excuse me, miss? Yes? Is this your wallet? Yes, it is. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And just quickly mention, you know, last time we did, or two weeks ago, we did in and at, you know, your pocket here in your pocket and in your backpack. So those type of things. All right. Let's go down here. Okay. It says practice the conversation again. Again, this is something we could practice in class. Okay. So you got key credit card and charger, you know, like a phone charger. That's what it's called. Here's the expressions though. Okay. Saying thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And thanks. Okay. Now, you know, this is more formal and thanks is a little informal. Don't worry too much. Okay. Most people don't care, you know, about who's older or who has, you know, higher job. Like if you said thanks to me, your teacher, I really don't care. Okay. Most people don't nowadays. Now replies, it's good to say, you're welcome. My pleasure. Sure. No problem. Or you bet. Okay. All of them are fine. Most popular is you're welcome. And again, it's just good. I will say um, it's really good to say thank you. It really is. It makes you feel good for saying it because we should be thankful. There's lots of good things in the world and lots of people help us. And it's just an easy way to show them that we recognize that we are thankful. All right. Now, lots of words here go on to the grammar. So, you know, this is a bit tricky. So most plural nouns, again, make sure the subtitles are on. Most plural nouns are formed by adding an S, right? So camera, cameras, pen, pens, just an S. For nouns ending in a vowel plus Y, you know, add S. So this is a vowel, O, Y, and then boys, okay? Or saw, S-A-W, so saws. For nouns ending in a consonant Y, okay, drop the Y and add IES. So dictionary becomes dictionaries. So the Y changes. Again, the difference is here, vowel, consonant, stays the same. Consonant Y, right? Consonant Y, change to IES. Now for nouns ending in a vowel, you know, plus O, right? Radios, okay? Photos. Okay, it's for nouns ending in a consonant plus O, um, right? So add S with some nouns, ES. So this one, photo, photos, potato, potatoes. This one's really annoying, and I'm sorry, but this is just how it is spelt, okay? Um, there's no good reason. Okay, Just English is not a good spelling language. Um, now, the C, H, S, H, S, S, X, or E, S, right? It's always E, S at the end. So class, classes, like churches, bushes, classes, as they did here, boxes, right? And then we add E, S. And for nouns ending in F or F, E, change the V, E to, you know, to V, E, right? So knife becomes knives. Leaf becomes leaves. Okay, so this is just some boring spelling stuff, but you will need to know it um, for better spelling and a little pronunciation, right? Like knife, knives, leaf, leaves. Um, but it does mostly help with your with your spelling. Okay, now we'll do the pronunciation just because it's you know it's again it's following the rule, right? So for here, you've got class, and then it has an is sound. Is, is, is. Class, classes. Watch, watches. Dish, dishes. Bus, buses. Okay, like it's an extra sound, right? It's class. Classes. Watch, watches. Dish, dishes. Bus, buses. 
Now these sounds, the, the S just has a s s s sound, right? Backpacks because k k k backpacks. No book k k k no books. Laptop p p p laptops. Wallet t t t wallets. So it just has a soft s sound. Now after a vowel like this, now it has a z sound, right? Cameras z keys because the vowel cameras keys boys right the vowel sound now d d d it has a z sound cards umbrellas most people do this naturally and if you do have more questions please ask me i love explaining pronunciation but again it's not really necessary for the test it's just good for your overall lingu english learning excuse me okay let's go back up here and here's the activity, okay? Use the words in the box to complete the sentence, okay? In your notebook, write a sentence with each word. Well, we're not going to do that now. Um, and use a or un for singular words, like, you know, no S. Then practice saying the sentence, okay? So take a minute, have a look at this. So here's the example, right? It's an address, their backpacks, okay? Because there, there's, there's more than one. So take a minute, maybe pause, but now I'm gonna show you the answers. Okay, so here we go. What's in your backpack? So phone, singular, so a phone, a phone. Laptop, again, there's no S, there's one, so a laptop. Bus pass, again, there's one, so a, or sorry. Well, that's interesting. Oh, sorry, two, two. I'm sorry, right, because I looked at, I look for the S here, right? Two bus passes. So sorry about that. Two bus passes. I got to be a little careful too, right? All right. What's in your wallet? Now I'm really checking. So this is just one. So ID, so an ID card. Two photos, right? Two credit cards for this one, credit cards. And the last one, we've got three, so pens, okay? Just looks like one, so an eraser. And two, now change the spelling, right? Dictionaries. The spelling is I-E-S, okay? And the E-S ones, like bus passes for that spelling. So the two hard spelling ones were bus passes, it's E-S, dictionaries, the Y changes to I-E-S. Okay, so let me close that and go back. And then down here, okay, we maybe do this one in class, but it doesn't really work well from, you know, doesn't work really work well online with just me. Okay, over here, a little active English. Okay, uh, nothing to really practice here. Okay, so again, this is just like being thankful, right? So I really like them, right? Thanks, it's cool, beautiful. These are the adjectives. Good to know. We're going to do them later. You know, cool. You know, something is, uh, oh, what a cool backpack or cool shirt. Uh, beautiful or great or nice or perfect. Okay, and again, here's what they're talking about here. A watch or sunglasses. All right, so let me show me one more time. Hey, there I am. Uh, that's it for 3A. Um, again, if you have any questions, great. Some people actually hit the like button and some people are actually watching them. That's wonderful. Um, again, you don't have to. I just really like to help people learn. So if you're learning, great. If you're not, it's totally your choice. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.